Hi, I'm Jason, and I've been collecting cards since I was seven years old. And over 30 years later, I'm still collecting. And now I'm sharing my insight and opinions on the hobby I love. This is Sports Cards Weekly. What's up, everyone? I'm Jason, and this is Sports Cards Weekly. In this episode, I'm going to be going over all the technology and all the security features in the PSA labels. Now, have you or anyone you know ever bought a fake PSA label? Well, they're out there, and they're getting pretty good. So don't close this video or try to swipe to the end, because the next few minutes could save you quite a bit of money. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe below. Alright guys, so there's no denying that PSA is the number one grading company as far as volume. Just in May alone, they graded 889,000 cards. The second highest was SGC at 96,000. What a difference, right? PSA is doing almost nine times the amount of the second highest company. That's just crazy to think about. But that being said, people are trying more and more to fake PSA labels. As you can see here, this is compliments of card porn. This is a Charizard. And take a look at this thing. This thing looks, this thing looks legit. It looks as real as can be. It's pretty scary stuff. And go on Etsy right now. You'll see PSA labels, PSA holders for sale, um, $7.99. If you're buying some big ticket cards, spend the extra 10, 15 seconds to really look over the case and make sure that it hasn't been tampered with. And the first thing I'm going to show you is, is their, their label. PSA named their label the Lighthouse label. And the reason they came up with that label is the amount of security features that are in it. Right here is the PSA Lighthouse logo. The, the word PSA kind of shines in that logo from side to side. And that right there is a technology that's almost impossible to duplicate. You'll see in the white label, they have what's called Fugitive Ink. Now, that's the same technology that's used to prevent check washing. If you try to tamper with it, you'll, it'll wash away. It'll, it'll ruin, ruin the label. Also on the back, they have a Lighthouse logo, um, which again, um, shines side to side. As everyone knows, they have a QR reader, which takes you right to PSA's website, shows you the grade, the population data, you know, when it was graded. And here I'm going to show you something really neat. If you got a black light, UV light, it's going to show you two spots on the label. Hopefully uh, I can get this to work. Here we go. Now notice you don't see anything there, right? Clear as can be, just the red, red border, right? Not anymore. Check that out. Little PSA logos, right side up and upside down, going across the red label. Pretty cool, right? Also on the back, right where PSA has their uh, foil logo, same thing. Check this out. Boom. So for a few bucks, maybe just carry one of these on your keychain when you go to a card show. And one last thing to look for is PSA always has their watermarks at the bottom of their slab on the lower right hand side on the front and also on the back. So there's your crash course in the PSA label. Hopefully I showed you a few things on the label that you didn't know about. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for?